In this today's session, we must have got to know from the title itself what we are going to learn today. So, what exactly are the SAPT codes or transaction codes? SAPT code is nothing but uh, I would say sort of abbreviation for term transaction code. Let's log in into our SAP system to get to know a bit about it. Okay, so uh, there is something called as easy access menu which is provided by the SAP which you can see on the left side of the screen. This is the SAP menu hierarchy. Um, using this we can navigate through its various screens like uh, ABAP report or like classes or tables etc. Let me show you with the help of one example. Just expand this tools folder. Okay, in uh, ABAP, expand this ABAP workbench uh, folder. Again, expand this overview. Uh, let's get navigate to this object navigator screen just by double clicking on it. You will get over here. Okay, uh, but instead of navigating via these menus, which will take a long time to reach, so uh, the SAP has provided the shortcut codes or like uh, key codes. This is nothing but your transaction code. I mean, this is how the transaction code comes into your picture. Okay, now if I try to execute uh, the transaction code ACAT in another window, I'll have an access to the same screen again. It's just that simple. Great. So moving ahead, um, I sort of uh, looked transaction code as two types. One is a standard T code and another one is a custom T code. So the standard T codes as a name itself suggests that these T codes are standard and are provided by the SAP itself. Okay. And like, for example, there is a SE11, SE80, SE38 and SE37, etc. Like there are many more, but as of now, just have a look at this small list. And the another one is the custom code. The custom T codes are those T codes which you assign to your custom functionality like reports or tables. Okay, so now let's have a look at the process of creation of the custom T codes. There is another transaction, SC93, through which you can display change or create another uh, T codes okay now say for example I am creating a custom T code uh, named Z underscore demo for my existing report okay so enter the name of the T code you want to create click on create button over here provide any sh uh, short description for that T code and select the radio button as uh, program and selection screen so the question arises over here is why I have selected the second radio button only and why not the rest of them. As of now, I am creating a transaction code for a report. If suppose there was a requirement where we need to create a transaction code for uh, any table, I might have selected the last radio button for that. Selection of these radio buttons totally depend upon your requirement. But as of now, I am selecting the second one and moving ahead. Uh, provide your program name. My program name was um, ZRPT underscore demo. Great. And uh, I'm selecting these uh, three checkboxes. The reason being, uh, this specifies uh, under which GUI the transaction can run. Okay, then press save. If I rerun this transaction code, this will directly navigate me to my report. So this is how we create any custom T code in SAP system. Well, there are many ways to access the SAP T codes in SAP system. Let's get to know what are those ways. Let's consider I want to access uh, transaction code SC11, which is nothing but your ABAP dictionary. First way would be from uh, SAP Easy Access, which we discussed earlier also. Double click on the ABAP dictionary. It will take you to the transaction SC11. Okay. Second way would be from transaction code called as SC93. Just enter your transaction code SC11 and execute it from here. The screen will appear. And the last way, which is much faster, much convenient, and the most commonly used 
uh, just by entering your transaction code in this command box. Here you go. And yeah, I guess that was all about uh, transaction codes in SAP. Thank you.